game mismanagement, clock mismanagement, stuff of that sort. When is he going to be fired? Sean Payton has a house in Dallas. It's a matter of time before Dan Quinn gets elevated. You got your owner giving timelines on his radio show about when Dak Prescott's coming back. This dude deserves credit. He's just one with Cooper Rush. It almost makes me feel, dare I say as a Giants fan, that I slightly root for Mike McCarthy to win. I want to see him win and defy all odds, Keith. Has he, has he, you, you, you know what I has mean? Has he become, like, by the way, we talked about this on this just in yesterday, 2 p.m. yesterday, ESPN. <laughs> we, it's crazy to me. Like, he has not had Dak for, like, half the time. He's been Cowboys head coach. Dak has missed all this time, and yet he's winning. Key, what about that? Is he becoming rootable? Is, like, yes. Mark McCarthy becoming easier and easier to root just for? Just plugging leaks well, in the boat, Key, all day well, long. That's well, all he's doing. For, first of all, Jay. Sean Payton still has a house there. So yes, you are. <laughs> let's, let's just, you know. Lock it in. L- lock that in. But, you know, Max, you mentioned that he hasn't had Dak Prescott, right? Mm-hmm. You can go back to when he first got there two years ago or three years ago, whenever it was. He first got there. He hired Mike Nolan as defensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Mike Nolan was somewhere in Montana hanging out with Phil Jackson fly fishing or something. Mm -hmm. He was, like, hiding. He brings him out of the cabin, dusts him off, and try to rejuvenate his career because he was once his offensive coordinator in San Francisco. So there was a relationship there. He realized, yeah, you don't have it no more. Your fastball has turned into a 20-mile-an-hour slow ball. So he gets rid of him. He brings in Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn has to deal with Mike Nolan's personnel. And try to figure out, okay, so a little bit of Mike Nolan's personnel, a little bit of Rob Marinelli's personnel. Then he start the turnover starts. Now everybody is in their second year Dan Quinn's defense. Now they start off the season dropping the first game this year. You know, whatever, they lose that game. They understand they got to go to Cooper Rush. Everybody says, oh, well, they're done. They're going to be nine games losing until Dak comes back and they may win a few games. The Cowboys are cooked. They never listen to the outside noise. What they did is they went back to the drawing board with Kellen Moore and Mike McCarthy. And Mike McCarthy is a little more involved in the play calling on the offensive side of the ball this year than he was in the past. And now they got a strong offensive running game, a quarterback that's not going to turn the ball over. But what they've done is they've reduced the offensive play calling sheet that they can eventually expand if they choose to when Dak Prescott comes back. Just expand it if they need to. But for the most part, keep it reduced. In their defense, and Michael Parsons is playing extremely well. So Mike McCarthy gets to have the opportunity to coach a team that's his now. This is the third year, so it's his football team. Where in the first year, it's not really yours. It's second year, you're still making some turnover. Now you're in your third year. It's your team. These are your players. Now you have your receiver in C.D. Lamb. You know what I'm saying? Now you have your defensive player in Michael Parsons. Diggs is your corner, not somebody else's. And this is how you win football. So he deserves all the credit for making the necessary adjustments under the stress and the pressure and all the things that Jay talked about with Sean uh, uh, Sean Payton House sitting in Dallas, right, Jay? Or Jerry Jones talking about, uh, 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 oh, God, I want a quarterback controversy all of that sort of stuff is in Mike McCarthy's head, and he still figures out how to weather the storm. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.